Hey guys, it's Spud here and welcome to my 2023 room tour. Loads of you guys have been asking for this one and it's very overdue so I'm going to go through everything in the setup and give you the full tour. So let's go! So as we're going through the tour, if you see anything you like from today's video, I will have a link to all the gear I use from PC parts to desk gear and RGB lights down in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the video and hit that sub button to keep up to date with all the latest videos including my daily shorts. Alright, let's get into it. So first off we have my main desk setup. The desk itself consists of an IKEA Ekback and Kitchen worktop with two sets of Alex drawers on either end and an adjustable olive leg in the middle. This is a very popular desk design which looks fantastic and is very functional. I've also added these cheap Amazon furniture risers to lift the desktop allowing for lighting and cable management to run underneath. And speaking of cables, the management underneath this desk is intense. Cable management quality can make or break a desk setup and I'm using J-channel cable raceways along with 3M command strips and Velcro cable ties to keep the mess tamed. I also have two power extensions and a 10-way USB hub stuck to the bottom of the desk using command strips. Moving on to my chair, this is the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. I made the switch from a gaming chair to an ergonomic last year and I honestly couldn't go back. The comfort and aesthetics of this chair are absolutely top-notch which you would expect from an almost £500 chair. Now, as you can see, above the desk, I'm currently running a stacked monitor configuration, with the top monitor being this Gigabyte M27Q, which is a 27-inch, 1440p, 170Hz, 1 millisecond response IPS monitor. Then underneath is the Innocent 40C1R, which is a 40-inch ultrawide, 1440p, 144Hz IPS monitor. And if you want more detail, I did a full review of this on the channel last year, as well as a guide on how I mounted them to the wall. On top of the monitors is my BenQ screen bar Halo which is great for adding some extra light to the desk without taking up any space and it can even be controlled via the wireless puck on my desk. For the mouse and keyboard I'm running this HyperX Pulsefire Haste wireless and a custom Tofu 65 build with lubed lavender switches and cherry PBOW keycaps. My mic setup is the Shure SM7B attached to the Elgato Wavearm LP which I think looks a lot cleaner than some of the boom arms that reach over the desk. The mic is plugged into the back of my Go XLR which handles all the audio in my setup and makes my microphone sound crispy clean as you can hear in this video. Either side of the monitors are my Pioneer DM50D speakers which I am planning to wall mount soon and these really pack a punch when it comes to audio quality. And speaking of quality, these are the headphones I use for editing and listening to music and these are the Drop and Bayer Dynamic DT177X GO and these produce a lovely rich sound quality and make listening to things a real pleasure. Next up is one of the latest upgrades to my setup, the Elgato Stream Deck Plus. This is often the heart of my setup where I can easily open apps and games or control certain things at the touch of a button, including my two Elgato key lights which sit either side of the monitors. The upgraded version of this Stream Deck allows me to control more than I've ever been able to before. Attached to the key light is the Elgato Solid Arm which holds my Sony A6400 camera that I use for all the face shots you see in my YouTube videos and TikToks. This is paired with the Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens for that beautiful picture quality. To finish off the desk gear, I also have an Amazon Echo Show 8 and the LA Metric Time Smart Clock which I can use to display on my social stats. And on top of my speakers we have the Colo Light Hexagon Light Panels and an Astronaut Galaxy Projector. And finally on the end of my desk is my custom PC build. I built this PC last year as an upgrade and it came out fantastic. Inside is an i7-12700K paired with an RTX 3080, 32GB of 3200MHz RAM, a B660A motherboard, Kraken Z73 cooler, three 1TB M.2 drives, Lian Li Strimmer Plus cables, 10 Lian Li SL120 Unifan V2 case fans and it's all housed in the Lian Li O11 Dynamic Evo case. All of this is powered by a Corsair RM750X PSU in the rear of the case. Again, you can find links to all of these parts in the description. As a final decoration, on top of the PC we have this digital clock which can also be wall mounted and one of the coolest looking speakers I've seen, the Gravastar Mars Pro. Next to the desk is the newest addition to the setup, this IKEA pegboard display. I previously had some Elgato wave panels here but a couple of weeks ago I switched out this display and I love the way it looks and it gives me the opportunity to display some bits of gear that fit the aesthetic of my setup including keyboards like the Razer Deathstalker V2 Pro, a couple of mice from Razer and Glorious, my SteelSeries Arctis Pro wireless gaming headset and a bunch of other bits. 
On the other side of my setup, I have this IKEA lack shelf displaying some more bits, including my GPU box, a couple of camera lenses like this stunning Sigma 70mm f2.8 macro lens, and my Sony a7R 4 which I'll be using for content soon. Finally, on the end of the shelf is the Davoom Pixu 64 screen, which allows me to display cool pixel art animations and looks absolutely fantastic. Onto the RGB lighting and surrounding the shelf is the glide bars from Govi which really brighten the area. Whilst on the ceiling next to the shelf we have this display consisting of the Nanoleaf shapes triangles surrounded by the Nanoleaf lines. Finally above my monitors is the neon rope light also from Govi which is a very cool light that you can bend into whatever display shape that you prefer. Under the shelf we have my console setup which has an IKEA Kallax unit to which I've added a bunch of decorations to improve the aesthetics, as well as some Govi strip lighting which you will see dotted all around most of the room. On top we have an aging 43 inch smart TV which I've had for years and hope to replace sometime soon with a nice OLED TV. We also have both a PS4 and PS5 over here for when I want to kick back with some console gaming and I can do so with this super comfy beanbag chair from Game Over. I don't spend too much time over here but when I do it's a great way to relax. Above the TV mounted to the wall are a bunch of controllers and headsets which I think is a really cool way to display them and adds that little something extra to the console area. Across to the back side of the room now and we have another desk which is identical to my main desk setup but without the furniture risers. Above the desk we have two more pegboards and these are where I display my keyboard collection, some Funko Pops and plushes as well as a bunch of my favourite keyboard switches. On the end I also have these bamboo lid jars with some more switches and some keycaps as well. The desk also has a lot of decorations on it including the Govi Aura table lamp and a bunch of artisan keycaps including this awesome giant artisan which is one of my favourite pieces to display. And in case you didn't realise I'm a huge nerd so I also have these two lightsabers sat on the desk which I am planning to warm out at some point. I just don't know where. Then in front we have this Alferia Keys mousepad which is where I do most of my tech unboxings. Over on the other end of the desk are some more Funko Pops and plushes and this Lego McLaren. I definitely think I need more Lego displays in here at some point. Then above the pegboards is another Nanoleaf display which you can often see in my face cam shots in videos. The final area of the room is one of my current growing projects and is planned to be a second setup for productivity and for my girlfriend to use. This is a much more toned down and minimalist setup compared to my main desk with a single 32 inch monitor, creative pebble speakers and whichever mouse and keyboard I feel like using that day. These ones being my KBD67 Lite R2 with GMK Lime keycaps and the mouse is the Razer Viper V2 Pro. The desk is the EG8 standing desk from FlexiSpot which is a great way to keep me active whilst working on things and a feature that I love is the handy drawer on the front giving me quick access to the things I may need. It also has USB ports on the front so I can easily charge my devices like my phone or iPad while I'm working. The second PC here is running a Ryzen 7 5800X paired with a 3070 Ti though I do have a 4080 which will be going in here instead very soon. We also have a B550F motherboard, 32 gigs of 3200 MHz RAM, Arctic's Liquid Freezer 2 AIO and some of their P12 case fans. Then for a little bit of flair, these beautiful braided cables from Reaper Cable. And all of this is housed inside this very nice Antec P120 crystal case. As a final decorative touch in this setup, I have these deconstructed tech wall art pieces above the desk, which I think are not only extremely cool, but really give this second setup a proper techie productivity vibe, if you know what I mean. And then I've also added this large plant from Ikea. And there we have everything in my 2023 setup tour. I have so many plans to change and upgrade things throughout the year, so there'll be much more room tours like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this dive into my setup. And as I say, there'll be constant changes to come and you can keep up with these over on my TikTok and Instagram pages, which I'll have linked in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, please show your support by hitting the thumbs up as it really helps support the channel and make sure to subscribe to keep up with future videos including my daily shorts. If you have any questions from today, then feel free to drop them in the comments or hit me up on Discord. I have a server which is also linked below. So thank you all again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you very soon with more tech stuff. You little streamer. You little streamer. Look at that. <laughs> Gamer in the making.